Hey guys, Brain Pry here, and welcome back to Europe Universal Ice 4. Today we're going to be continuing playing our campaign as Proto Japan, almost Japan, soon to be Japan. And we have been colonizing, passively expanding, and a little bit of active expanding against these natives up here. And we have been high rolling like fucking crazy, guys. We are doing so overwhelmingly well. I'm just super blown away. We're blowing through all their texts and ideas and everything. We have literally, we have two full completed idea groups already in the game. Like, we are just getting so lucky with our leaders and everything. It's This is going to be a good campaign, guys. We're going to be far ahead of Ming, who's at Military Tech 7. We are at Tech 8. So not that far ahead, but uh, we're not letting them get the institutions because they are evil. Hey, we hate them. Uh, we could we had the opportunity to do a golden era. We can actually do it right now if we wanted to. But um, I don't want to do it because we can only do it once a campaign. And the stuff, if you look at the benefits of it, it's mostly morale and goods produced and stuff. And we, we that seems more like of an offensive thing. Uh, we don't want to lose stability, and we don't. We're not really raising an army right now, so it's okay to take that event. But yeah, so since it seems more geared towards active expansion, where we're kind of just passively expanding through colonization, I don't think we need to worry about it. Wow, hundred. What the fuck? I mean, I guess that's nice. Sure. How are we doing? Oh, people want more land. All right, let's get them their land. All right, so the clergy wants more land. Let's give them this land. And we'll give these guys like this 1% up here, because... Oh, well, that was not enough. We'll give them this one. Okay, good. So yeah, this Age of Discovery is almost over, sadly. It was pretty good for us, because we had all these nice bonuses from... Uh, for colonization, but, you know, well, I'm sure... I hope that the next one will have... Similarly good bonuses. I'm going to go ahead and use the Diplo thing to assign some of these guys to just increase, uh, just to, you know, butter up neighboring countries. Since we got four of them, anyways. And we're a great power still, apparently. We got 444 development, which is pretty legit. Alright, and now since we're greedy, we can do, we can get this, or, oh my god, we can get both since we're greedy. That's fucking aw Oh, no, well connected is what can. I thought it would be the greedy one, but whatever. Alright. So yeah, these guys are just pissed really hard, royally, because we, you know, annex everybody. I wonder if we return cores to them. Well, we would lose our core on it, so it's kind of pointless. So this would improve our opinion for 25 by 25 for 10 years. Let's see how much we can pump up their opinion just to see if we can't sneak in this uh, thing. Like another 50 bucks and that's going to give us an 150. Is there anything else we can do to them to make them love us more? Uh, explore. Yeah, we got lots of exploration to do. But let's just, yeah, they're the one that's pissed off with us the most. So if we can get them, then we definitely can get the rest. So loans, nah, they're not going to go for that. Uh, our relationship is 200. Great power influence, plus 25. So we got plus 50. <laughs> we're literally, like, buttering them up so much that I don't think, yeah, I don't think we'll be able to do it. Yeah, but at least we know that these guys will easily fall into that. So we just need to wait just a little bit. Alright, Micronesia, that's kind of what we've been waiting for. Um, once our call, or once our explorer gets back, we're going to want him to check out um, over, over there. So we can just go to Hawaii or something. We could colonize in now Australia, but that's just going to turn into a colonial nation. So we don't really want need that right now. Want slash need. Oh, one of our dudes passed away. Trade efficiency. I'm not going to spend any of our splendor right now. Because, uh, why? It's, we're, we're about to, it's about to be over in a few months, or a few years. We will get this, though. 9% is not uh, enough to be afraid of right now. 
Ming keeps is fabricating on Taiwan. Wow, is this like real life simulator? Price of tea just went up 25%. That's really good for us. Alright, good. Let's send him to like the North Pacific or something. Yeah, Northwest Pacific. Unfortunately, it means here. as West, not East. Because it, it is East of us, but they mean West because this is the, the dividing line in the map. So... Yeah, not very specific and kind of confusing, but, you know, we figured it out. Uh, yeah, let's do the north. Let's see if northeast Pacific is, yeah, good. It's going to go over to California. It's kind of where I was seeing where we could go, and I want to see about this uh, Hawaii and stuff. Not really the correct direction, but let's see. Can we colonize? No, we can't colonize Alaska, but we could colonize above Kamchatka. We might want to take that area. I don't know. We might lead to just conflicts with uh, uh, Russia and, you know, Muscovy and stuff and getting them... Well, they do have the stuff, at least. They, do, they would have the institutions, so it might not be too bad to board them. But we would have to fight them, probably. Kind of like how you had to fight those, like, mega wars against, uh, Russia's Ming. Right, these guys are, what are they doing, returning home? We're gonna go ahead and take that military attack. Just to further increase the difference between us. And Ming. So yeah, our prestige is pretty insane. I think it's because of all this exploration that we've been doing. Alright, so they're gonna... Yeah, they've actually explored all of that. Good. Let's do... Is there like the Middle East Pacific? Yeah, let's do that. That should give us this. Yeah, they're literally going to Hawaii first thing. Good. That's kind of what I need to see. Is it going to let us know? No, it says it's too far away. Okay, let's take Wake Island then. And let's pay for our army for a few minutes. And we'll take our Doom fleet with them over there. Alright, let's land on Wake Island. we go. We're going to take some attrition going through the open water, unfortunately. But they made it. And we easily slaughtered the natives. Good. Let's go make a pit stop uh, here and kill the natives north here for that 12 development province. Is there any other highly developed uh, thing? 11. That, that would be good. 10, but I'm just looking to see if there's one that's more than 12 that's not already taken by someone. No, not really. So yeah, it looks like this is going to be our next biggest one. And then there's some really good ones down there too. Australia, of course, has some pretty sexy ones, like uh, Sydney is pretty good. I think it's like 10. But yeah, for right now, we'll be all right. Yeah, 12 is definitely the best that I see right now. So go Philippines. Alright, we got another mission. Colonize Bhutan. Uh, let me control F that, or F that. Where's that? Oh. Alright, I guess I could do that. It's, only, it's 6, so it's kind of shitty. But I guess we need to do it. I mean, we're going to want to colonize the entire Philippines anyways, so. I guess. And it'll give us the, it'll make everything else faster, so. Let's march our army over there. Let's give him a conquistador. He's actually pretty good. 
Send in the infantry. Oh, good. Infantry combat ability. That should help us against these dirty natives. Yep, they've been eliminated. All right, we got some modifiers we need to refresh for our guys here. We're going to grant them that new world charter. Yep, and that's it. Right, Age of Discovery only has 22 months left. I wonder, do we keep our splendor or not? I think we, we should, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go kill the natives up there as well, since we know we're going to do that next. I kind of like how we have one colonist uh, doing, like, you know, heading towards the new world, and one colonist that's heading uh, to just do our, cover our tracks, you know, back here in Philippines and stuff. We, we're probably going to end up sending him over here, too. But I like it. All right, so what are we... Are we getting this institution at all? Is there anything we can do to get colonization? Nearby friendly province with colonialism slash port. So we need a colonial nation. Port slash capital. So it needs to be a, cap, a port capital. So we can do it. So we'd have to pretty much uh, invest in our... We'd have to bum all these points in. How much would it give us towards it? Six each? Okay. So that means we'd have to click this button like ten times. No, ten times. Not ten times. Like more than that. <laughs> We'd have to click the button, like, almost 20 times. Alright, we're gonna grab that. So that actually might have given us enough range to reach... Uh, like, Hawaii and stuff, but it's okay, we're gonna... we're exploring still. So since we have all this money, let's go ahead and grab some better advisors, especially for the places where we're weak. Uh, we don't need missionary shank, so that's going to be the good one. And then can we get a plus two advisor here? Uh, yeah, that's the only one, so we have to take him. So let's do that. That might have been a little bit zealous. Here, let me switch to a cheaper one here. Uh, yeah, the land maintenance, that'll do it. I think we had that one. But I'm just, you know, a dumb dumb. At least now my decisions, though, are, like, a lot less influential than they were in the first playthrough. That really kind of caused us to low roll as, as Japan. Let's see how our boy Oichi is doing. You can get 25 more points for being in a, uh, for giving them a gift again. But that's still not enough. We'll pay to stop them. And in five months we have a new age too, so maybe we'll get some lucky stuff there. Oh, so, so much prestige. All this exploration and stuff, we're going to be like insane in amount of prestige. Exploration's pretty fast because we've already done most of the, like, exploring the seas. We're just doing the coasts now. Get to, okay, there we go. Age of Reformation. Alright, let's see. Oh, Ming did a golden era. Okay, good. That's They're going to waste it now. Alright, so let's see. Join the Reformation. Can't do it. Humanist or religious. Okay, maybe. Uh, colonial Empire have five colonies. Colonial nations. Five colonial nations. It says five colonies, but not, that's not it, because we would have already had that. Uh, converted another nation. To change them to our religion. Asian trade, gain the bonus, and we don't have any of those. Unify culture, own all provinces of your culture group. So we'll, we'll do that, that's uh, for sure. We'll probably get a colonial empire. Uh, and we might be able to do convert, or Asian trade. So we, we might actually be able to do golden age if we'd want to here. But if you're wondering, no, we didn't get to keep our splendor, our splendor went away. <laughs> But yeah, very shortly we should unify all of our culture. So yeah, we can get 50, plus 50 with these guys, which would give us almost enough. So we're just burning, waiting a little while to get the extra stuff. Is there anything we can do that will just give us... Maybe maybe I'm dumb and I'm just sitting here doing nothing. Um, is there anything that I can do that will give them just relation with us? 
No, see, like, it just, all we can do is placate them and things. We can't actually, there's no button here that's going to give me uh, directly improved relations with them. Okay, let's get that raw marriage back. Yeah, our dude's getting pretty old. <sighs> but our colonies are coming along. That's nice. We got some tropical wood. Wow, why is our trigger modifiers blank? It's so sad. Alright, what's our mission right now? Colonize Bhutan? Okay, yeah, we already started. Yeah, good. Okay, that's going. All right, we're gonna do that and then we'll do the Arabian Sea soon as well. Good, we got the Colonize Bhutan mission done. Do we no missions allowed? Okay, I see how it is. Okay, the explorer's done. Let's send him out again. We're almost done. We only got these two seas left, but each of them we're going to have coasts to do as well. Uh, I think I'm just going to lose the army tradition. Do we have that much even? No, we had zero, so... Or what? at least less than 15, because it wouldn't have put us at zero if we had over 15. So I'm totally fine with that. I'll we'll gain the base tax. Cool, neato. All right, my friend, explore some more of that coast. Oh, well, we've got a new shogun. Let's go ahead and boost our stability. Get that royal marriage. Prove legitimacy, sure. Right, do we lose our royal marriage with these guys too? And what about Oichi? Oh, we got everybody's royal married now. Good. The daimyos will never go to war again, probably. So that's okay. Yep, so we're at 140 over here. We've got a shit air. Oh well, hopefully our person lives a while. Uh, let's get a discipline guy. Well, actually we can scroll. Let's stop. Alright. Land maintenance, how good he trained his son to do it, I guess. And we're going to explore the Indian Ocean. Cool, that's going to be this part. I don't think we'll have to do a coast there, because it looks like it's just all uh, Madagascar, which we've already discovered. Oh, good. So Bhutan is going really fast. Why does it say 18%? When clearly it's almost done. I don't know, whatever. Like, is it going to explode? Is there an 18% chance that it'll explode? I don't think so. Alright, we got some more global settlers. I think I did that a little early. Whoops. Oh well. We can definitely circumnavigate, or at least make an attempt to circumnavigate now. Alright, so as soon as that colony finishes up, we're going to do this. We'll take the military tech as well. And looks like we got new cavalry. And a new mortar. Sweet. Come on, Bhutan. I know you can do it. Sure. Oichi is our test case, so I guess we'll do it. 
Right, so they're gonna look at the coast over there. Yeah, just discovered the rest of Madagascar and the little islands there, I guess, that we could colonize. Korea is fighting against Manchu again. They're just started, I guess. Right, record that. Let's go get Tondo. It's going to be really useful. The 12 development, that's pretty good. All right. Ooh. Oh no. What do I do? Okay. So, two manpower. Oh, we gain a stability, but plus one in rest. I like stability. All right, but that's going to about do it for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Spray and pray out.